Look who just walked in my kitchen. This guy knows how to make candy. <laughs> Y'all, Stan is the owner of Savannah Candy Kitchens. And Stan's cooking up something special. It's pecan pralines. You know, you can't think of a candy without good old lollipops. And we'll be making peanut butter cups in a blanket. And to top it off, it's a banana split with a brulee twist. So y'all get your sweet tooth ready, cause today I'm turning my kitchen in to the sugar shack. Stan is fixing to break down and give away the recipe for the number one candy that sold in Savannah Candy Kitchen, and that's his pralines. That's right, we've been making it 30 years, Paula. 30 years. And we're gonna use the same recipe that I've made it for at home before we started selling it for retail. Uh-uh. But Listen, you're gonna make you're it. you're the master, mm -hmm. and I'm your puppet, baby. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me two cups of sugar. Okay. <laughs> That's your look up for. All right, now let me know when you want to cut your stove on because I'm over. I want here. it all in before we cut it on. Okay, I'm, I've got your eyes over here that'll turn that stove on. Okay. Okay, so two right. cups. I need a cup of half and half cream. A cup and half. half. All right, just go ahead and just pour it in. Yeah, pour it in. Okey and I need an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. And that's the ingredient nobody knows about, really, in All this right. recipe. Now, that's soda, not powder. That's correct. Right? An eighth of a teaspoon. Okay, there you go. And then however much butter you want to put in it, because I'm going to okay. tell you, you know, no. <laughs> When I'm Isn't cooking any recipe out of your cookbook, I follow the directions. When I use somebody else's, I double the rest butter <laughs> recipe. So give us about a third of that stick, and we'll make it a little buttery than normal. Just a third? Because it's yours. Well, I Okay, now that. let's get the heat on it. Okay, dope. I want nope. you to use a medium heat. I got Because this you, cream honey. will uh, certainly scorch if you don't keep it uh -huh. moving. Okay. And you want to stir this, and this is something you cannot stop stirring. Oh, you, you got to stir it the whole time. Uh -huh. So if you can talk and stir, you can have this job. If you cannot, it just won't work. I can talk and stir. Okay. I can I can multitask. Oh, you want me to do it? Yeah. Oh, okay. This will take about 15 minutes, so I'll keep you busy for oh, a while. It is? And we're going to uh -huh. cook this to the soft boil stage, which okay. is about 238 or 240. Okay. Now, I like to cook it just a shade more than that. And then oh, I can do? do it by eye because we've done it so much. Uh -huh. But. If you don't know what you're looking for, you need to cab that thermometer. Okay. There you go. Okay, stick that in. It's gonna move really quick right okay. now. Keep it stirred. Am I not Ooh. stirring? Oh, you're fine. Oh, I just can't see. We got glasses. Yes, I do. Take that spoon. Oh, you gotta keep stirring. Yeah. I'll, I'll stir it till you okay, get back. Okay, keep stirring. Oh, uh, shoot ya, honey. I keep glasses all over my kitchen. Well, I can see them good. See good. That must be 2.75. Okay. <laughs> You know, as a kid growing up, I remember my mother's thermometer. It just seemed like I could read hers better than I can the ones today. I think it's because you had kid eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that may be it. I got 230 right now. I want to get to okay. 240, 241. You see it beginning to look a little more like candy, though? Uh -huh, it's sticking uh -huh. to the sides. That's the sign yeah, that it's coming yeah. in our direction. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's getting um, thick. Yep. Kind of thick and, and That's sticky. what we want it to do. Okay. Now, while we're doing this, since you're the butter queen, okay. how about buttering this marble over here? Okay. How much but, butter do you want on I it? want a good, thick coat because where it won't stick. The first okay. time I ever made these Paula in the store uh -huh. was in April. We had to tour homes in Savannah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And I had it cooking like this in a bigger pot. Mm -hmm. And I had people just smelling it and lining up. Uh-huh. Oh, gosh, I bet you did. And I started dipping them. I was so excited. Mm -hmm. Then I tried to take them up, and they wouldn't come up. They just fell apart. <laughs> I didn't know you had to butter the marble. But that was you, 30 you, years ago, though. You, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> so they crumbled, and we still uh -huh. sold them. So I knew then oh, we had something you, good. I bet that's how you came up with the idea, because when you go into Stan's store, you can get samples. I always get a sample. So I bet you that's where that came from. With little pieces in the beginning. Uh-huh, the little pieces in the beginning. That's good, Butter Queen. <laughs> That'll do it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. Save I it just, over here. I just, I'll just put this in my pocket. <laughs> you remember Save when you were later. 
Wow, man. Now, see, now that's tearing good. See that? Uh -huh. You can mm -hmm. forget that thermometer if you get that look right mm -hmm. there. Well, that's great. Now we got to uh, add the nuts. Add the pecans. Yes. Let's use a cup, cup and a half. About a cup and a half, okay. Now we're cooking. Ooh. Oh, oh, my goodness. Let's get it off even that little bit of heat. These are beautiful. Here, take that rag All stand right. so you won't. All right, I'm going to hold that them. like that for you. Okay, good. And then, then you dip it okay. in the size that you want. <laughs> Don't. Don't say that to Paula. I'll have a praline this big, honey. Uh -huh. All right. Look at that. Isn't that going to be pretty? Is that a praline or is that a praline? The color is beautiful, Stan. Those are pretty, Paula. Oh, Stan. So we're going to let these cool for yeah, a minute? It takes about five minutes, and then we'll be able to oh, pull them right not, off. that's not bad. Well, why don't we just take a quick break for a minute, give these a chance to cool, and when we come back, Stan the Candyman is going to feed me one of these wonderful pralines. So y'all don't go anywhere. We've got more things coming out of our Sugar Shack kitchen today. Coming up, it's lollipops, y'all. And later, peanut butter cups in a blanket and brulee banana split. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Stan, these pralines look Fabulous. Well, I've been a very patient girl. You made me work for these, so I really am ready to taste. You want to put them up and save them for Michael? It's your nuts, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe one of them. Okay. But uh, I'm ready to taste. Want me to cut you off a little piece? Just a little piece, then. Okay. A lot of nuts or a little bit of nuts? A lot of nuts. Okay. That's the way we do it in the store. That like is, mm-hmm. Um, Try to get you one when it's warm, too. That's always better. Mm, I think you did a good job. I think you did a good job, Stan. <laughs> well, listen, I'm going to put you to work on this next dish. What I, are we making? Do you feel like a sucker, sucker? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've never made a sucker. I, you have I have never made You've a sucker. You've been a sucker, but you've never made one, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, I'm, come on over here. I made dummy, dummy fudge with you before. <laughs> <laughs> you worked me the last time. I'm going to work you this time. All right. So we're going to put in our pan three-fourths of a cup of white sugar. You know, suckers are nothing but pure sugar, Stan. I think that's probably why children like them so much. All right, and that's a fourth of a cup measure. So there we go. Now... I'm going to take my measuring cup and I'm going to give it a little spray because you know how sticky corn syrup can be. So by spraying that, I'm going to measure a half a cup. All right, there we go. All right, now look, I'm going to show you something. Look how easy because we sprayed this. Look how easy that syrup's coming out of there. but. You know, just to give it a little push, we can do that, but... And you get the whole thing in there without trying. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right, now, here's your spoon. The last ingredient that we're going to add is a half a stick of butter. <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try to act shocked. <laughs> All right. How much? Half a stick of butter. Okay. All right, now, we're going to cook this over about medium. This is going to take a little longer because suckers have to cook to the hard crack. So we're gonna have to cook this to 300 degrees. Ooh, that's gonna be hot. We don't wanna get that it's on It's gonna be hot. No, when it gets to 300 degrees, we're gonna put in a small box of cherry gelatin. Now, you can make any flavor you want. There's a lot of different choices out there staying, but I don't, I don't know anybody that doesn't love a cherry sucker. That's my favorite. Uh-huh, but you can make grape or orange or lime. 
There's a lot of different flavors out there you could make. Yeah. What you showing? Starting to cook up pretty good for you. Past 200 and climbing fast. You'll want to be very, very careful with children around this kind of hot syrup. Let them enjoy just eating, but don't let them near the stove. All right, so where are we now? Stand. I just saw soft boiled. Oh, my goodness. It's we're, jumping we're getting up there, aren't we? I'm already past uh, hard law. I'm licked uh, soft crack. Now <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. Where are we going? <laughs> We're there, Stan. We're there? Yes. Yes. So let's cut our owl. And we're going to quickly stir in our cherry flavored gelatin. And I'm going to take out oh, that's looking our good. thermometer. Yeah, it's looking great. And smell that cherry flavoring. Oh, that's pretty, Paul. Mm -hmm. All right, now over here, Stan, on our cookie sheet, I've got some parchment paper that I sprayed with a little no stick. I've got our sucker sticks lined up here on our pan. So now it's time to just pour our candy. Oh my goodness. That's that's a, so it looks good. like it's just right. Uh-huh. All right, and we're just gonna pour that. Let it form a circle around our stick. I thought you had to have a mold. That's great. No, <laughs> honey, this is so nice and thick. And look at that. Look at that, what a sucker. You know what? I don't believe I'm gonna be able to get that whole sucker in my mouth. Mmm. <laughs> well, let's finish these up, Stan, and then take a quick break. And when we come back, hopefully these will be cooled and we can taste them. Y'all don't leave us now. Suckers for everybody. Coming up, it's peanut butter cups in a blanket. And later, banana split brulee. I hope y'all are enjoying the show. And I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. Well, Stan, what do you think about those suckers? Uh, they really turned out great. Aren't they cute? Well, I'm gonna let them harden for another minute because I'm gonna make peanut butter cups in a blanket. Just in case, y'all, this peanut butter cup is not fattening enough, we're gonna wrap him in a blanket. Our blanket is gonna be puff pastry. Now we're gonna start staying with some little mini paper liners, muffin liners. And if you would now, I have melted a pound of semi-sweet chocolate right here. So just take this spoon and put a little bit of chocolate, about a teaspoonful of chocolate in each of those cups. And I'm gonna move down over here and I'm gonna be making our peanut butter center. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and just get that stick of butter out of the way. We'll go ahead and pour that in the bowl so I can reach my measuring cup. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna scoop out one cup of creamy peanut butter. So how long have you been in the candy business now? This year will be 30 years. Really? 30 years. People think candy's magic. You know, if you know how to make candy, you like magic. It can bring a lot of smiles to faces. Oops. <laughs> that knife jumped in my mouth. I can do that. <laughs> like your finger just jumped in yours. Okay. And now we're gonna put a cup of graham cracker crumbs. And this is just kind of gonna hold it together. And if you would, Stan, I'm gonna get you to Go ahead and start stirring that up for okay. me. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna add two cups of powdered sugar. Mm. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Look, all three good ingredients right now. You may wanna wash your hands and just dig in I'll do with that. your hands. I'm gonna move on down here because you know I said that we were gonna wrap these in a blanket. So I'm taking just puff pastry sheets. You know, you buy those in your frozen food section. 
And for each sheet now, I'm gonna cut into nine pieces, just like that. Now we're just gonna come over here to our muffin tins. And I'm using like just an average size. And I'm just gonna tuck those in there just like that. So you see there is nothing to this recipe. There we go. How's this looking to you, Paula? That's perfect looking, Stan. Okay. All right, let's take our muffin tins now back down here. And we're just gonna finish up our cups. Now we're just gonna take about a teaspoon of the peanut butter on the chocolate. Do I have to use the spoon? No, you can use your hand because this is almost the consistency of like my peanut butter balls that I make for the children and I'll just roll them around in that chocolate like that. <laughs> Look at that, Steve. Oh, yeah, that's good. Mm. I don't think we need the blanket. I don't think mm. we do either. <laughs> that's Yum. good. Yum. Isn't that good? That's really good. All right, we're gonna go back to our chocolate and cover the peanut butter with chocolate. Now, when it gets the top layer of chocolate, we're gonna sit these to the side. Mmm, I got peanut butter everywhere. <laughs> um, we're gonna put these to the side and let them harden. Just a thin coat here mm -hmm. on top, okay? Yeah, that looks good. Perfect. Mm. It's still really soft. You don't have to do any more stain okay. because I've actually got some ready down here that have already firmed back up. So all we're gonna do now, Stan, is take these peanut butter cups. We're just gonna nestle those down into the blanket because we don't want them to get cold, <laughs> do we? <laughs> See, just nestle it right down in there, just like that. All right, so before these go in the oven now, just gonna put a few marshmallows on them. There we go. And then we're gonna bake this in the oven, 350 degree oven, for 10 minutes. <laughs> Let's hurry. <laughs> yeah, that sounds Let's good. hurry. <laughs> These are gonna just puff all up and wrap around that chocolate peanut butter cup and those marshmallows. They're gonna be yummy. Coming up, the ultimate sugar rush, banana split brulee. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show, and if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video, and we'll be right back after the break. Hey, y'all. While we were on break, I took our peanut butter cups in a blanket out of the oven. I've let them cool for a minute, so... It's good. Let's try it. <laughs> Mmm. Isn't that mm. yummy? That is yummy. I told you that I'm gonna make you a banana creme brulee. I'm gonna take our banana and slice this in two and put this on our cookie sheet that's got a little tin foil on it. And I'm gonna sprinkle it with about a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half of brown sugar. Now, what I want you to do is brown this banana off. You know, just like you do when you're making a normal creme brulee. Whoa, you're cooking with fire, baby. Oh, that's looking good. You know, if you don't have a torch, you can always run this under the broiler. Oh, that looks good. Dan. That does look good. I think that's good. Kind of looks like the color of your pralines, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got that caramel All color. All right, now, whoops. Don't let that burn. One now. down, I know it. Now, see how quickly that starts to harden? All right, now, let's scoop us up some ice cream. 
And I've actually got homemade ice cream for you. I've got a strawberry. We'll put that in the center. Got a nice chocolate. There we go. All right, a scoop of vanilla right there in the center. And let's just drizzle a little caramel syrup. And you can find this at your grocery store. Ooh. Just like that. And then let's drizzle a little chocolate over the chocolate and then back down here on the strawberry. And of course, you gotta have whipped cream. Okay. And we gotta have a cherry. And do you like sprinkles? The kid in me does, still. The kid in you does. Okay, well, let's, let's feed the kid in you. Boy, that's great looking. <laughs> and don't forget your mint. And I'm gonna come down here and get us a sucker. So, <laughs> you got banana brulee split in one hand and a sucker in the other. Are we happy or what? Yes, or what? <laughs> <laughs> Dig in, honey. I'm Stan, starting with the chocolate. I'm starting with the chocolate down here, too. Stan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if y'all enjoyed this week's full episode Friday, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, friends. <laughs>